Hey guys, already. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I'm using the Benefit Boing Concealer as the base. Since we are going to be working with color, again, it's going to help to bring out the pigment and also to help it show through. Alrighty, and I'm setting the concealer with a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And I'm going to be using my Cap on D Mi Vida Loca palette, the remix, and I am obsessed with this palette still. It is a little old, but I still love it. And I'm going to be using my Morphe blending brush, and I'm going to straight off use Analog. This is why I set my concealer, because I was going to use a bright color straight off the bat. And I'm applying this all over my crease, and I'm really just working it through. I'm grabbing little by little. And slowly but surely making the color more pigmented and more vibrant depending on how bright you wanted it. I kind of wanted it pretty bright. Next I'm taking the Sephora red blush which I am obsessed with this blush even though it is a blush I love to use it as a red eyeshadow and the pan's pretty huge too so it's going to last me such a long time. I'm mainly focusing the red in the inner crease and also feathering it outwards towards the outer crease making it very smoky next i'm grabbing a flat brush from bh cosmetics and i'm using the color black metal and i'm gonna go ahead and just pack it onto just the lid if anything i'm keeping it pretty low because i don't want to take it too high and make it all black i still want the red to show through which is why i'm just taking it very low next i'm going in with my bh cosmetics brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend everything out. Again, if you feel like you're losing the pigmentation or it's hard to blend out the black, go back in with a little bit of the orange or the red and just smoke it out or even grab just a tiny bit of black, like the smallest amount, and just try to smoke it out. And just keep going back and forth until you have the smoothness that you like. So I'm going to be doing that for a little while until I'm satisfied with the finished results. And then I'm, I honestly do not own any green liner, so I had to improvise. So I ended up using my Makeup Forever Turquoise Eyeliner and used it as a base. Then I ended up using a very small brush and I dipped it into like a very lime green. And I just touched it into the waterline. Honestly, you want to use it the tiniest amount. You do not want to get any eyeshadow inside the eye because it could be discomforting or it could... Yeah, it's just discomforting and it's just annoying. It gets everywhere. So just be sure to use the tiniest amount. Next, I'm going to end with my Snake Eyes from NARS. And I love this eyeliner because it's black, but it also has a lot of green pigment to it. So it's very multi-dimensional with the color. And I'm just winging it out and creating a wing. I'm super picky with my wings. I really love to define the tip. I like to make it like a very, very defined tip. Next, I'm taking Analog once again with the My Morphe pencil brush. And I'm using the orange and just smudging it underneath the eye, the lower lash line. And just, I really like to bring my smokiness really down. You don't have to do it that low, but you can if you want to. You can do whatever you want. And I'm taking a little bit of the dark green and I'm just adding and emphasizing the green a little bit more into the waterline. So I'm just keeping it pretty close. I am going to be working with glitters so you will need two brushes. I have the same one of the same kind. And I'm also going to be taking my adhesive from Duo and the Sephora Glitter Guard. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be mixing them both together on the back of my hand with one of the brushes. And I'm going to be packing on the glitter where you want it to apply. So for me, I wanted the inner corner to be glitterified. Is that even a word? It is now. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the adhesive on. Next, I'm using my Violet Voss Glitter in Copperella, which is such a gorgeous copper color. And with a clean brush, I'm going to pick up the glitter and apply it into the inner corner or the areas that I applied the glitter adhesive on. Alrighty, so yes, all your glitter is on. Okay, so moving right along, I'm going to take Dollar Tree tape. I love the Dollar Tree tape to pick up any excess glitter 
because the adhesive is very weak so it's not going to take too much of your makeup off unlike the scotch tape which is like very like the adhesive is strong it's just going to rip off your makeup so forget that I'm just going to go ahead and prep my lashes with mascara since I am going to be applying my falsies. So yes, I'm just putting them on with some tweezers, whatever you feel comfortable honestly. And with the back of the tweezers, I'm just pushing the lashes back in order for them to get really comfortable. So next it comes my favorite part, highlight. So of course, you should probably know by now if you watch my videos. I always like to do a base and then apply the powdered highlight and it gives them more of a glow. So my cats, as always, are always causing trouble. They're playing in the back, so I had to keep an eye on them. And this is the first time I ever tried the Buxom Plumping Lip Liner. And honestly, I'm in love with it. I like it. I wish they had more darker colors, but this is good too. So I don't really see the plumping effect, but I do see the creaminess, and it's super easy to apply and really easy to work with. So this is one of the looks if you want to keep it very nude. But you know me, that is not my cup of tea, so I always love a dark vampy lip. So right over on top of the nude that we already had, I'm just going to keep applying Kale from Bite. And I love it because there's already a base for it. And I'm taking a very small lip brush and I'm just defining the lips a little bit better since it was kind of like nasty and cracky. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!